Who's ready to do some yurting? <laughs> Welcome to my yurt, guys. I am in Cloudland Canyon State Park in Northwestern Georgia right now. And tonight I'm staying in this gorgeous yurt. If you love travel, nature, and the outdoors, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and get ready for adventure. There are 10 of these here in this awesome state park, 100 bucks a night, and they actually sleep six. So it's a really great place for you to do some glamping if you're not really wanting to do tent camping. But whichever you choose, there's all the options here at the state park. You can tent camp, you can bring your RV, um, you can even stay in one of these yurts or in a little rented cabin as well. But this state park, I've heard so many great things about. There's some waterfalls here that are supposed to be incredible. So I'm really excited to be staying here in the park to get first morning access to some of the trails here. There's obviously not a restaurant here at the campground, so I did bring dinner tonight. I actually just made a little rice bowl at home this morning and packed that. And I'm gonna eat that tonight. So lots of healthy stuff rice, edamame, beets, tomatoes, and a couple other vegetables in there <laughs> and brought a little wine. Uh, I will say if you're staying here, definitely bring some sanitizer and bring some cleaning wipes as well. I wiped down the doors and the table when I got in and I will say they, they weren't exactly very clean. You'll also need to bring like your own bedding. So a sleeping bag, a bottom sheet and a pillow. Good morning, everybody. I've just had coffee and breakfast and I'm hitting the trail. We're gonna be starting today on the West Rim Trail, which is actually right outside the yurt. So picked the perfect location. Now, before we really get into the trail, we're gonna go down and see Cherokee Falls and Hemlock Falls first, and then we'll do the West Rim Trail to just see the rest of the park. It's not a very nice day today, a little overcast, but I think we're still really gonna enjoy seeing the park. One of the other things this park is really well known for is its caves. And this is just a teeny tiny little one here on the trail down to the waterfalls. But there's also some caves that you can crawl in and go explore in in another part of the park. So that's one of the other activities that you can do here in the park. You can also mountain bike and fish and obviously just camp and hang out in your RV as well. Immediately when you start the waterfall trail, you're actually going to see this first waterfall, which there it is. <laughs> and if you don't want to do all the stairs that you're going to have to go back up on this trail, you can actually do the overlook trail, which goes on the top of this bridge and takes you to viewpoints where you can see the tops of the falls. We're going to keep going and get to the bottom of the waterfalls here which is about 1.8 miles round trip in total for these two waterfalls. And then we'll head back on the West Rim Trail. There are 600 stairs to get to the bottom of Cherokee Falls. So make sure you've warmed up your legs because this is gonna be a thigh burner on the way back up. There it is.
Those waterfalls were certainly stunning. We are back on the West Rim Trail. This goes along the rim of the canyon here. There's actually about a thousand foot gorge down below us where we just saw Cherokee and Hemlock Falls. And if you guys look across here, you can actually see that Overlook Trail and the main trailhead where that begins. If you don't wanna do one of these longer trails, you can actually just park over there. You can come look over the edge there into the gorge see the waterfalls and get some pretty stunning views here. I've seen a lot of birds as well, so lots of beautiful wildlife to explore here as well. This trail is a little over four miles round trip, so I am going to stop here, take some pictures, and then we'll continue on the trail. Something that I try to do in every video is learn a little bit more about photography and videography. A lot of that is learning by doing, but when it comes to photography, I got a lot to learn still. So I've actually been taking some classes on Skillshare. Now, if you guys don't know about Skillshare, it is an online learning platform where they have tons of different classes from really about every subject that you can learn. They're taught by peers and experts. I've taken some in interior design, I've taken others in SEO and WordPress. So just a whole host of things that you can learn. But I highly recommend checking it out if there's something new that you want to learn, whether that be photography, social media, videography, there's classes for everything. And if you guys use the link down in the description, you can actually get 40% off. The first 100 people can get that uh, for a one year subscription. Um, I also have some free, free trials for a one month subscription. So check out the link below and let me know if you guys check out Skillshare. Little bit of debris on this trail. If you guys look way down there, that's actually the stairs that went down to one of the waterfalls. Now we're way on the other side of that, as you guys can see. If you're looking for a little bit more creature comforts than a yurt or a campsite, as I said last night, there are cabins to rent right here. They are also connected to the West Rim Trail and you can see them right here. Well, the weather is finally starting to get a little bit nicer. There is some blue sky just trying to peek through down this way. As you guys have seen, this trail just has tons of overlooks where you can look out at the canyon. There's been a lot of birds flying around, but this is just really beautiful. Uh, we still have about three miles left on this rim trail. So we're going to be going to the end here and then kind of making a left hand turn and circling back. Um, it is a loop trail, so we will be seeing different things along the entire trail. And so far, I'm really enjoying it.
We're now on the back half of the loop of the West Rim Trail and heading back towards Yurt Village right now. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview of my night last night of this park so far that I've really enjoyed. So Cloudland Canyon has a lot more to offer than the things that I've shown you, but this is just a little bit of a taste. Like most of the Georgia State Parks, the accessibility of this park is really great and there are a lot of trail markings so hard to get lost and really easy to follow um, if you are coming out here and exploring the park on foot lots of options to see those waterfalls too depending on your level of fitness but if you're gonna do any trails and you can do stairs I do highly recommend you check out those waterfalls because they were really beautiful and I think you're going to enjoy them there's a lot of roots and rocks on these trails as well. So just be mindful of that. Make sure you have appropriate footwear and you're able to really watch your step when you're out hiking. And, you know, as far as last night in the yurt, I really enjoyed it. I didn't get that great of a night's sleep, but I've actually been working nights this week. So my sleep schedule is a little bit off. And I will just say, about the cleanliness of the yurts. I, as I said last night, would definitely bring some cleaning supplies with you. Make sure you have a bottom sheet or some sort of blanket to throw over the mattresses as well because it's not kept very clean. I'm not sure if that's the way it normally is, if they keep it kind of like a, a trail hut where it's you clean it when you leave and that's the best that it gets. So I'm definitely gonna inquire with the park on my way out and just so you know as well, it is $5 to enter the park and, you know, make sure when you're hiking in here, when you're staying in any of the accommodations here that you leave no trace. This is not just a principle that you should practice in the woods, but all the time you should not leave a trail of trash anywhere. So make sure you remember to always bring either a little trash bag with you or some sort of container that you can put your trash in so that you make sure you take everything that you brought into the woods with you. And same thing for the yurts and cabins. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Cloudland Canyon. So let me know if you've come to the state park or if you maybe are adding it to your travel plans. You know, as I said, there's a ton of places for you to stay here. And there's also the uh, town on the other side of the park where you could get a hotel as well. So lots of options. Chattanooga is just right up the road. And if you guys haven't watched my outdoor travel guide to Chattanooga, you should check that out as well. I will see you guys on the trail very soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on those notifications as well so you can find out when I post a new video.